Okay, welcome to our little presentation on GCCPE. Sorry we can't see you in person again this year. Um, hopefully this will help you decide whether it's uh, GCCP is the right subject for you to take uh, moving forward into year 10. This slide is uh, to show you how the course is set up and how you'll be examined at the end of GCCPE. So if you choose GCCP, you'll get five lessons of GCCP less, uh, a fortnight. Um, you'll also still get your four PE, core PE lessons on top of that. The five GCCP lessons will be split down. Three will be theory lessons, so based in a classroom, and two of those will be practical sports lessons, looking at the different activities that you'll cover across um, the two years so that you can decide which ones that uh, you're going to, which sports you're going to be examined in. At the end of the course, you will take uh, two written exams, both um, one hour each, uh, and they add up to 60% of the course. You'll also be assessed in three different sports, which I'll talk about later on. You'll also have to produce a project in year 11, and this is called an AEP, and that's worth 10% of your final mark. So this slide is uh, designed to show you the sports and talk about the sports. Um, you'll be assessed in three sports and the sports must be on the OCR, which is exam board syllabus, um, which I will also attach to um, this area as well. Uh, this list um, is, is also in the P corridor for the students to have a look at. You will have to choose one team sport one individual sport and one choice of uh, and one of your choice we'll cover a number of sports in school such as football hockey handball badminton trampolining athletics tennis uh, we may also do some things like table tennis as well um, and um, look at some some of the others um, but you can also do sports outside of school okay some of these some of the students have taken in the past things like swimming golf and equestrian events however if you're going to take those um, you need to be doing that as a club level um, you'll need a coach um, and you'll also need to produce video evidence uh, of the skills and the standard that you play at um, and then that goes off to the exam board um, to, for them to have a look at and for us to assess as well. When we assess the sports, uh, we do that at the end of each block. So after about five or six lessons, we'll have uh, like an assessment lesson. Um, we have to give you a mark out of 20. Um, those are from criteria that are produced by the exam board that we have to follow really closely. It's really difficult to get a 20 out of 20. Um, I'll give you some examples. We've had some national swimmers that have scored 20 out of 20. Um, over the years, we've had um, a rower that um, was scored 20 out of 20 because he's nearly at an international level. Um, so certainly have to be up in that area, the national, the national sort of area to score that 20 out of 20. It's not impossible, but it is difficult. Okay, together. Um, we will choose at the end of, uh, towards the end of about Christmas time in, in year 11, your three best activities. Okay, and we will complete a, uh, an exam assessment, which will help with your final grade. Remember again, um, there'll be one team event, so something like football, hockey, um, doubles badminton or doubles tennis. Okay, one individual, so um, athletics, in, uh, badminton singles. Uh, table tennis singles um, and then one sport of your choice okay so the theory section three lessons a fortnight will be theory okay and we will cover a number of different areas across that uh, across the two years as I say being examined at the end of it um, in two one-hour exams written exams areas that we follow so some of them link in with other subjects so anatomy and physiology looking at the skeletal system the muscular system some movement analysis so how people move the cardiovascular system 
um, looking at the, the heart, blood and the blood vessels and the respiratory system as well. OK, so that links in quite nicely with science, um, which obviously all of you will have to take. We'll look at training, components of fitness, so things like agility and flexibility, those sort of things, types of training. Um, so looking at things like uh, circuit training and how that's set up and how that works, looking at warm up and cool downs and how they work as well. And then the principles of training, uh, this includes specificity um, and progression, um, looking at how you put those to your um, activities to help you improve. Next one is to look at uh, social and cultural influences. So patterns of engagement, why certain people were um, females or uh, males or young, old, um, disability, how, why different people do or don't do sport or don't in, um, compete. Look at the media. So how the media portray sport and the influence they have. And we'll look at co commercialism. So looking at sponsorship, um, and that leads into something called the Golden Triangle, which how sport, media and commercialism all work together. Along with the previous page, we'll look at uh, sports psychology, so mental preparation and how well, things like visualisation um, help you and, and meditation, things like that, how you get ready for, for sport and how that improves your um, performance. Feedback. So how coaches might feed back to you and how that affects performance and then goal setting, looking at things like smart targets uh, to make sure that um, your um, performance improves or your fitness improves. We'll also look at health and well-being. So that includes um, diet and then what is meant by health and fitness and well-being. Um, and that sort of covers the last two pages really cover all the theory. Um, that you would you would study across the year or the two years um, and that theory would really help you if you were considering going on to do um, perhaps a level um, or some other sport um, b tech perhaps at um, city college or eastern college or somewhere like that in the future um, but certainly sets you up um, for a level um, which obviously we do at Tavern. So in your 11, you'll have to do a project called an AEP. Um, you cover this or you'll, you'll complete this in, in during lesson times. Um, it's worth the AEP is worth 10% of your final grade. We'll prepare you for this. Um, you'll be expected to do a, a practice project across the summer holidays between 10 and 11. Uh, but that will set you up really nicely for the, the project that you have to do in school. Um, and it's normally done around the October, November time in year 11, uh, but you'll be fully prepared for that. Um, it's something that has to be completed, um, uses a lot of the knowledge and understanding that you've got um, from your theory lessons and you put them and apply them into a written project. But you'll be fully prepared for this um, and ready to go by the time that we set the project for you. So is GCCP for me? Well, for you. Um, do you like sport? If the answer is yes to that, physical activity and, and the sport, and you like the PE, then it's a, a good possibility that PE is for you. Okay, but remember, you've got to be willing to work hard. But I always think that if you like the activity, like the subject, then you'll be more willing to work hard in it. Remember that if you do or you don't, choose is it's not just about playing games you won't just come into the, the, the lessons and play games okay there's a lot of theory work um, and even in the practical lessons we'll try and apply some of that theory work um, and also we'll be making sure that you have the the skills that you need to score well when it comes down to the assessments gccp will help you prepare for your next step after year 11 okay some of you might go on to do a level we do a level at Taverham, it'll help you with that. Some of you might decide to move elsewhere and you'll look at uh, BTEC courses or um, sport courses elsewhere, such as Eastern and um, perhaps City College. Okay, GCCP will help you prepare, prepare for that. And beyond that, if you go on to do A levels and courses like that, level three courses, then it might 
also help you with that preparation for university courses or apprenticeships in the future. Don't just pick GCCP because um, you lot, your friends are doing it. Um, the other the other thing for that is don't just uh, you know hopefully you like us don't just pick it because oh the P staff we really like that member of P staff we hope we get taught by them. Okay, it's got to be the correct subject for you. I can't guarantee that you'll be with your friends. I can't guarantee that that member of staff is going to teach you. So um, it's got to be the right decision for you. Um, this is where you've got to be a bit selfish and make sure um, all of your choices, not just GCCP, are made for you and the right reasons for you. OK, when you decide if your name is on that list, when I get that around about August and uh, before August, um, um, we look forward to seeing you start in GCCP in, P in, in September. So hopefully this has helped. Please come and talk to any of the P uh, department about GCCPE and whether you think it's right for you. Um, we'll find time to sit and speak to you. Um, our main teachers in GCCP at the moment are me, myself, Mr. Taylor, um, Mr. Blowers, Mr. Derrick, um, and, and, and you know, we, we, we tend to be the team that are teaching at the moment. But obviously, when Miss Greenway is back, hopefully she'll come back into the team to teach GCCP as well. So thank you for listening. Make the right choice for yourself. And we look forward to seeing you.